Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 433. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 431 to 439. In this trick here, we have some numbers and we want to display them as, uh, for instance, this one 65.7K. So really we want to somehow divide by a thousand and then show a K to indicate that we divided by a thousand. Two ways we can do this custom number format is by far the best. Uh, we could do it this way, round, I'm going to take that comma and divide it by a thousand and I'm going to round to the tenths position so I'm going to put a one so it will show one decimal. Close parentheses and then I want a K, that'll, that'll give me my desired result. Seven. Notice when I enter this. 65 point that it uh, is aligned to the right. That is because it is a number. Excel sees this as a number. But let's edit this because we want to show a K. I'm going to hit F2. I'm going to use my ampersand shift 7 and then in quotes space K and double quote. Control enter. Align to the left means it's text. That is nothing but trouble. That is one way to do it. Here's a better way. I'm going to say equals this Control, um, control enter and then double click and send it down and now I'm going to apply a custom number format. Here it is. 0, 0.0, that means show me one decimal, 0, 0.0. Comma means divide it by uh, a thousand. It's not changing the number like this one did, it's actually just formatting it divided by a thousand. And then K is a special uh, character in custom number format, you don't got to put quotes around it. So I'm highlighting here, control one, go to the number pad, custom, and I'm going to type zero, and you can watch your um, sample emerge, point zero. Right now that's just saying show me a decimal, but watch this, as soon as you type a comma, boom, it's um, as if we divided by a thousand, uh, and then space K. That is a special character. Usually you have to put double quotes around text that's going to show up on the surface of the spreadsheet, uh, but K is allowed. So then click OK. Uh, and obviously that is the way to go. Equals this times 10. Forget it. We're going to get a VAT. Oh, let's see. No, that's this one. Equals whatever you have here times whatever. I'm just going to multiply it by 10. You're getting a value error. A value error means there is something, there's either a wrong argument or something, um, in, an incorrect operator or incorrect element or use of an operator. And the thing is, well, you can't take text and multiply it by number. Excel doesn't understand the word red times 10, which this is, even though it looks like a number to us, Excel thinks it's text. So some word times 10, forget it. But custom number formatting. We did all this fancy stuff there. It even looks like there's a K there, right? But there's really not. It's just on the surface. Formatting sits on the surface. So the beauty of custom number formatting is you can do all the calculations you want. That whole big number is still under there to do our calculations. It's just, uh, it looks like there's some formatting. All right, we'll see you next trick.